That's a nice shirt. Yeah, I come with a job done. <laughs> you gotta get a play like this. <laughs> Yo, let me borrow that. So you try to help my brakes now since I helped you with yours? What be wrong? <laughs> there is no like uh, video DIY on how to do these. Everybody did like F80 brakes on like a 335 or like the F30 chassis. Yeah. No, no, you know, like a 92 or 90s. BMW S65. Yo, this car is nice. He gonna, he, gonna, he gonna let me do a review on it though. Soon, soon, soon. So, all right, I need a wash, clean it up. Let me get the bumper painted over. Yeah, that's nice. Three piece, nice. So you gonna help me with the brakes, bro? Right now? Yeah, they're not that I hard. mean, he's got to no, push the two pins out. Yeah, yeah, I know. I got to do the backs, too. The back had the electric oh. motor and all that. He's a fast guy. You going to um to thing? Nah, why not? Not work. Nah, I'm going Saturday. Saturday. So, those of you who've been following the channel know it took a while for this to come. I'm going to give a shout out to BMW of Silver Springs. So, now I'll include some links down below on where you guys can pick up OEM BMW parts for effectively wholesale prices. The actual parts come from the dealership, it's just like a different department, some type of online warehouse apart, uh, department for a lot less uh, the cost of the price. So let's say for instance, the, these brakes originally were, I'll give you guys uh, the actual, I guess, uh, printout or whatever of how much they originally cost. If you were to just walk in there blindly in the BMW dealership parts section and buy the parts, that's how much you'll pay. But if you just go online, do a little bit of due diligence, find the closest location to you, and you just pick up the parts. Now, BMW of Freeport, for all you guys that are in New York, we used to have something that was OEM, uh, BMW Mini Parts, or something like that.com, where you can literally order the part for the cheap discount price, literally go to uh, BMW of Freeport when it's ready, and pick it up. However, they stopped doing that, and now uh, one of the closest ones in New York, Bridgewater, uh, Maryland, you got Silver Spring. Uh, I'm not sure if there's any other one, but I picked these up from the BMW Silver Spring dealership. I also ordered my control arm from the same dealership. It will arrive uh, tomorrow, and then I'll go ahead to the dealership and I actually pick it up in Silver Springs and install it on the car. My car, despite what everyone likes to think, even some BMW dealerships, uh, because I had the long talk with BMW of Silver Springs, this car is equipped with the M Sport brake package, but not with the M Performance brake package. It's two different types. Uh, the M340, they three forty they do not have regular uh, floating caliber piston brakes on any of the models. Those are the three thirties. So the M Performance ones just have a big caliper, I think a bigger rotor or something like that, and they take a different pad, which is like completely back ordered. These ones were bad, but those ones are even worse. So fronts are pretty easy. The calipers shouldn't even have to come off, honestly. Thankfully, the rotors aren't damaged because if I would have driven this thing just a little bit more, the rotors would have been completely destroyed, which. With me, I gotta take off the whole caliper and everything, which I don't feel like doing. So you can see the condition of everything now. These rotors are actually a lot bigger than you think. Believe it or not, I don't know if you guys see it in the camera. They are pretty huge and nicely sized, uh, especially for a uh, M Sport brake, not an M Performance. Now I can only imagine the M Performance ones are not necessarily too much bigger, but just wider in uh, length I and mean, width. Uh, this is my spaceship by Broker Motorsports for the G chassis cars. They have a different bolt pattern. These are actually 5x112 instead of 5x120. So your wheels and uh, anything that uses the bolt pattern uh, on your G chassis cars will not fit the F chassis cars. But, yo, this caliper is nice.
Let me take a look. This is the brake sensor on the brake pad. There's not much brake pad left. I will show you guys a comparison. This is the stock, well, a uh, new brake pad on it, and this is without it. So that's what I was working with. Never go this low, uh, but these are hard to come by. And thankfully, they are the same exact one. So you put them right in front of each other. You see that they match up. Comes with the uh, little pasty stuff that you get your hands dirty with on the brake pad already. I'll show you guys. It looks exactly like this, so no additional paste is needed. And as you can tell in the sensor right here, you see the two prongs, right? See those two little metal prongs? So what happens is the plastic wears down. Big contact with the rotor, and that is what triggers the low brake pad light uh, on your BMW. I would just use, you know what you could do? Hmm. Take the old pads. I got it. We'll take them sideways. Push both uh, old four at the same time. I was thinking about that. I got it to go back enough. Hey, that fresh. So satisfying. <laughs> I know, right? It's satisfying for me, especially because I ain't had no brakes forever. Not enough, I'm gonna move back a little bit more. <laughs> Man, they don't move that much, honestly. <laughs> I do. <laughs> I body build that blink. Stop playing with me. Yo. <laughs> it's the M logo, man. It's so fresh. I know, right? Everything you buy. But everybody says it's the M for me. Right? <laughs> it's the it's the. They don't G know about the me. M tax when you buy one of these cars. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna shoot this little rod in. Pause. It goes in so much easier. <laughs> He's gotta line the pad a little bit. You feel me? Yeah, they both on. Uh, when you want to get older and have fast cars, man. King Kong ain't got shit on me. <laughs> I got back bangs. I got to pull off the gold. You see this stuff? It still has edges of the gold on it. Look, see, it's little gold nips. See? Oh, yeah. That's the annoyance, like the nuisance about that in the tires, because it, it, it sprays, so it gets in every crevice, you know? Yeah, I did. I know one guy, he did a... Uh, it wasn't auto flex, it was more like plastic dip, and he was like, I would never do this again. So I guess he did like a thin layer. So he had weeks of like little edges in the little crevice, like the door handle, all the trims inside. I mean, it's not a big deal for me, I don't care, because it doesn't look too bad. Because the color of the wheel and the color of this ain't too far away, you know? And, uh, and dirt, when it's dirt, it's all brown anyway. So I'll just have Phil do this later, yo. Because he makes it come all the way up. I don't know how to do this. I'm gonna just put the tie back on. This is what I. But I know how to do. <laughs> you know, DM me down below if you guys need any brake jobs. I do them all, everything. Lambos, Ferraris, Hondas, Daewoo's, 55s. You know, what about Honda. suspension? Uh, so you got some yeah, lowering springs yeah, going on back there. Yeah, yeah. You see some what? Some lowering springs? Lowering springs? How you, whoa, 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 come on, man. Nah, nah, what, a, they, what, they, what all the BMW people say, you can't see the sauce. My sauce. <laughs> My sauce. I, I seen a dining logo on there? Yo, it'd be like, it'd be like 30 different, um, 30 different BMWs, the mm -hmm. same tuner, same mods, be like, yeah, you know, my tuner likes me better, so he gives me the sauce and basically rips everybody else off. Like, yo, what the fuck? And they don't even race bread. Six months later, I can wears a car. <laughs> that shit blew up. <laughs> I mean, I, I respect people that race for bread, you know? But you racing for clout. You doing all this for clout, it's different, you know? That's true. But it's not my department, so we're gonna end this video right there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're gonna end that part. I'll show y'all how the fat lazy people do it. <laughs> I don't even know if I got any more that's loose there. They all tight. This way we're gonna lay down and chill. <laughs> See? Yeah, I think I tightened them all. You can spin it, right? 
Oh, here you go. <laughs> so rotate the wheel. And hold just that hold that still. Boom. Where you learned that trade? Honestly, you want me to be honest with you? I just did it just now because I wanted to keep my arm down, but I went and I'm thinking to myself like, it don't go. It's just like, it just makes, I don't know, you just think about it that way. Like, you know, he's like, oh. I think if you thought about it, people wouldn't stop buying BMWs. <laughs> Stupidest decision ever. So we actually did a lot. We got one, one brake pad on mine, two brake pads. You got your whole set. Yep. Your whole set around. Your car ready to go down. I want to take this for a spin. I want to take them all for a spin. What up, bro? I'm going to try to get a test spin on Mike bike real quick. <laughs> Wish me luck. I need some open road for this and a helmet, bro. You can go to Hempstead, get you a helmet. I got a helmet at my crib. Yeah, you little yeah. Man. Actually, no, I got a helmet at Elmont. So you want to take it to Elmont and put the helmet on? Come on. Nah, nah, nah. I ain't trying to mess with police out there. I got, I got put over for a ride with no helmet. Oh, uh, okay. I got, I got put over by the, by, um, the motorcycle cop. Yeah. Because I had this... All right, but boom. But you see, you saw the bike that you had? He was going to pull you over. Because <laughs> he got you. He's like, he didn't get nah, away from me. You know what it is? I had my helmet. But I was giving this girl a ride, and she didn't have a helmet, so I prefer me to die rather than, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want to be there, you know? So I had no helmet on. Then they pulled me over. See. And I had no choice but to stop. It was a I 300. I, it was I a three. I seen something like that, and they were like, oh, at least you cared about her. No. Nah, that ain't, no. That was another video probably. Oh, another video. No, he was just like, yo, you stupid for ride, for do that. Mm -hmm. They're going to do that again. That was a 300. I wasn't going nowhere from that cop, bro. That cop was going, <laughs> He got the bike and he's like, yeah, I got this one. He, he said, yo, the first one, the first one. Got this one in the bag, bro. <laughs> so would you get another Apex setup? Our gates? Yeah. Now, if I would've got your boys E46, I would've, I would've SM10 it. Yo, they just had babies, you see the things out? Oh, what the hell? It's a, got little, rabies? It's a little nature clip. He yeah. probably got hit. And we back, we have brakes. We have brakes. Little tap a little bit. Hey, little. <laughs> Yo, traffic will be mad at me. <laughs> I 
literally, literally hit the brakes on the highway just to get the footage. Look, 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 you tight. Oh, man. <laughs> just to get the footage on top of the brake. Retarded. But, uh, and got some brakes. Didn't do the rears yet, so stay tuned. That's probably going to be in a 2 week until you part. But any brakes, pads you put on OEM, anything like that. We didn't change the rotors. Uh, just be mindful. When you do change the brakes, the first couple of pumps or the first trip uh, might not give you the exact stop and power you're looking for you notice a huge difference like yo it felt like this brake pedal was so stiff i've been driving on like low brakes for so long it's like it's like night and day like the pedal used to go all the way down i never noticed it but now it's like it's a little tap car stops haven't even done a batch yet so i can't wait but like i said other than that uh just be mindful uh like yesterday the brakes weren't all that great uh started up today drove around and they bite they bite hard so and yeah Seems to be it. So, uh, let me close this one out, Mike, from Soul Speed. Peace out. Uh -oh.